Hello friends, welcome to Easy Learning Economics. I am Dr. Kaval. In this lecture, we shall learn about multiplier effect, simple expenditure multiplier. In this lecture, we shall talk about the definition of multiplier effect and what is the formula which is used to calculate the size of multiplier and what are the factors which may affect the multiplier and also we shall take a numerical example in order to understand more that how does multiplier effect functions and also we shall discuss the diagram and what are the weaknesses of the multiplier effect. So in this lecture we shall cover all these things. First of all what is multiplier? The multiplier refers to an addition in income through new investment. It means when we make an investment that how does real GDP rises. An increase in national income by autonomous investment can be known by multiplier. Autonomous investment means the investment which is independent of the level of income. It means whatever the level of income the investment is not affected. Multiplier effect is a process by which the change in component of an aggregate demand as we know that the component of aggregate demand or the consumption investment government expenditure and exports here we are talking about the multiplier effect is a process whereby process by with the change in component of one of the aggregate demand it means the change in investment brings change in an output the multiplier effect shows the ratio of change in the real gdp through an initial change in the investment Simple expenditure multiplier is equals to 1 over 1 minus marginal propensity to consume because consumption is a component that varies with income. You can see here in the formula that marginal propensity to consume means the proportion of the additional income which is spent on the purchase of goods and services. The formula for multiplier effect is 1 over 1 minus marginal propensity to consume we may rewrite this formula as that 1 over marginal propensity to save MPS marginal propensity to tax MPT plus marginal propensity to import MPM. If the marginal propensity to consume is equal to 1 the multiplier will become infinity and given dose of primary investment will lead spontaneously to full employment. If marginal propensity to consume is zero, a total increase in income will just equal to the increase in the primary investment. The concept of multiplier helps in shaping economic policies and plays vital role as an instrument of income building by furnishing guidelines for appropriate income and employment policies. The factors operating to reduce the multiplier effect are technically called leakage. What are those leakages? Port, tax and saving. These are counted as leakage. What are those factors which affect the size of multiplier? The withdrawals from the circular flow of income affects the multiplier. The marginal propensity to save, the marginal propensity to tax MPT and the marginal propensity to import MPM are the factors of multiplier and they inversely affect the size of multiplier. It means higher the marginal propensity to save, marginal propensity to tax and marginal propensity to import, the lower will be the multiplier size and vice versa. It is assumed here that the marginal propensity to save, marginal propensity to tax and marginal propensity to import remain same. And it is also assumed that the repeated investment must be made in the economy. There should be spare capacity in the economy. How does the multiplier work? It is assumed that 1000 rupees are introduced in an economy and the marginal propensity to consume is 0.6 and marginal propensity to save is 0.4 it means 600 are consumed and 400 are saved that how does multiplier size is calculated you can see here that we are making investment of 1000 here and out of which that the 600 have been spent on the purchase of goods and services are invested and marginal propensity to save is 400 so 
and the repeated investment is made if we add the 600 again in the economy and out of which that the 0.4 40% of that is saved and 60% is spent and further such investment is reinvested it means 360 360 means then 144 is the marginal propensity to save of 360 and 216 are marginal propensity to consume in this way that the 216 again they are invested and likewise total investment has reached to 14 and you can see here that all later rounds that uh, change in aggregate demand is 2500 this is the change in aggregate demand by an initial investment of 1000 and change in saving that is also 1000 and the 1500 change in consumption so the size of multiplier can be known as that the 1 over 1 minus marginal propensity to consume here you can see that the marginal propensity to consume is 1 minus 0 0.6 it means 1 over 0 0.4 so by solving it that it is 2.5 it means the total change in output will be initial investment 1000 multiplied by 2.5 it means the total change in investment is 2500 so by investing 1000 that the real gdp will rise by 2500 so this is the whole process through which the multiplier function because the investment is reinvested again at the same proportion of marginal propensity to consume and marginal propensity to save multiplier effect with the help of diagram you can see here that aggregate expenditure has been shown on y axis and whereas the gdp or national output is measured on x axis this is the income line and economy achieves equilibrium initially where aggregate expenditure ae not crosses the 45 degree income line is the investment of 1000 is made in the economy that the ae not shift to ae1 and the new point of equilibrium is e1 it means with an increase in the investment of rupees 1000 and aggregate expenditure AE not shift to AE1 and new equilibrium is achieved at E1 point. An increase in the investment by 1000 causes the national income to rise by 2500 rupees due to multiplier effect. So multiplier effect with the help of diagram of saving and investment. Saving and investments are measured on y axis and the GDP and national output is measured on x axis. This is the I naught is the investment, S is the saving curve. Initial income level of equilibrium is achieved in the economy at E naught point where saving and plant investments are equal as the investment increases from I0 to I1 the new equilibrium is E1 with an increase in the investment by $1000 investment curve I0 shift to the I1 and new equilibrium is achieved at point E1 as a result that the GDP increases an increase in investment by $1000 causes the national income to rise by $2,500 GDP due to multiplier effect. What are the limitations of multiplier and what are the things which multiplier fails to consider? The multiplier effect fails to work if an economy has attained the full employment and supply is inelastic because further increase in the investment result rise in the price level but does not increase an output the boom in an economy is not instant as the implementations of plan might face difficulties and delays due to passing of money from one agent to another economic agent 
So the multiplier effect requires long time period to give the successful and fruitful results. This is all about the multiplier that how does it function in an economy. I hope this will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching.